Hi, I'm Shelly Wapniak, <laughs> and this is Jessica Mello, and we're here with facepaint.com. Thank you for tuning in, and we are going to show you today how to do graffiti lettering. <laughs> All right, so just to explain this design a little bit, this is Jessica's name, it's upside down. I can't really, yeah, this is, this is how you're gonna see Hi. it. Right, but basically a lot of times teenagers, kids, they don't know what they want and often we forget what we know how to do so I will just throw out their name, offer it to them and as soon as I suggest it, they usually get right on my line and are eager to get painted and then suddenly I have an entire party full of kids who are eager to get this, whether they have face paint on or not, they all want this. So if you ever have a crowd that's uh, giving you a hard time, <laughs> offer them a graffiti name and you are sure to be swamped for the rest of your gig, I promise. <laughs> so today we are going to demonstrate how to use the Split Cake Rainbow Burst by Global. It's a six, six palette case and we are gonna demonstrate every color and I'm gonna use my Favorite technique, graffiti lettering. Um, when I do it, I usually use just one split cake, but for demonstration purposes, we're gonna use every single color on Jessica. So we're gonna start with that. We're gonna start with a J. Now, if you're really smart, you'll actually start with the middle letter, and that's how you make sure you have enough room for all the letters. So what I'm doing is I'm loading the brush. So I get it wet, and then I press down really, really hard. But you use the tools that you have on hand. This color is nice. This is gonna be like the flame color. It's pretty sweet. This one is usually for boys, like flames. I love these colors. They're fun. This is great for leaves and dragons, this one that I'm about to use. These colors are really fun. And it's really, lately I've been playing with contrasting colors and just making things pop and using unexpected or unconventional colors for designs and combining them. And I'm finding that it's really bringing out the design more. So like getting really creative and doing the unexpected is a lot of fun too. This, ah, this one's one of my favorites too. Um, it's great for like the frozen princess crowns, anything snow related or ice related. And it works for so many different things too, like boy designs, girl designs. Okay, and the last color, I guess we'll just bring that one in again. There we go. Sometimes you wanna reload if it's sitting too long, because they dry up, the paints. But um, I loaded them really heavy in the beginning, so. So that is our block lettering. And then what we're gonna do here is take a color like, and people don't usually shouldn't do this because then you break up your palette funny, make it uneven and you don't wanna do that. Now you can like stencil out the sides so it has, you know, graffiti on the sides, which is really fun, which is what you usually do or you just do little things like that. Let's put some nice white right here. And because these are a little wide, you can actually use the colors on the edge because you'll probably never really reach them unless you have a really wide palette. So that's the benefit there. You can use the, like, the colors on the edges if you need to. This makes the kids go wild. Like even, well I usually don't put this on for the boys, but the girls lose their minds over this. Our little magic secret. Yeah, they're all medium and large. There's, there's a small one. And then we want black. So here, we've got some black here. And what I tell the kids is, it's all about faking it until you make it, right? So my handwriting, not so great. My drawing, <coughs> very good. So what I try to do is I make sure that I draw my letters instead of writing my letters. And you basically have it. You can throw in some teardrops if you like, or swirls. 
you know, find a nice place for them. And I guarantee if you do this kind of design on a kid, you will have a very, very long line. All right, I really hope you enjoy this graffiti lettering design upside down. Please like, share us on Facebook and Instagram, and follow the link at the bottom to purchase the materials that we used. We have some really great stuff and you know you want it.